she had just shown that at that particular time she couldn't handle the now faith. You know what the Lord did? The Lord said, okay, I'm going to leave Martha. I know Mary always sits at my feet when I'm preaching, when I'm teaching. So she very cold, Martha, I can, I can excuse Martha. Martha goes around doing a lot of things when the word is coming. You remember Martha, she will go, you will be busy doing things that should be done, but at the wrong time. But Mary will sit at the feet of the Lord and be listening to all the message that Mary teaches. So I said, let me go to Mary. Maybe through Mary, we can get the faith that we need to raise Lazarus from the dead. So the Lord said, I will go to Mary. And when the Lord, Mary finally came to the Lord, the Bible tells her that she was full of grief so much that she couldn't even do anything. All she was doing was just weeping, weeping, bound by the grief that her brother has died. The Lord took one look at her. The Bible said Jesus wept. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus wept. The Bible never told us why he wept. It just said he wept. So it's really up to your interpretation. The important thing is that he was there, praise the Lord. The answer was there. I believe part of the reason he went was that they couldn't just see it. They couldn't at that moment see the awesome power, the awesome presence before them. They were so bound, overwhelmed with their grief and with what they are dealing with, they couldn't look and see the hope that is before them. How many times have we been overwhelmed with things that we are dealing with? And we're not capable of saying, oh Lord, I'm going to separate myself from this and look at the bright light of God. That is the answer that I need. How many times have we not done that? So what did the Lord do? The Lord said, take me to that grave. Amen. Amen. 